Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. I realized I didn't film an intro to this uh, video, so I'm on vacation right now, but I thought I would quickly film something for you guys so that you guys know what we're getting into. In today's video, I'm not really installing the Icon Motorsports front lip for the 15 to 17 WX or 18 plus if you have that, but I'm doing a kind of wet sand prep paint, getting it gloss black because a lot of these things come in polyurethane or ABS and they don't look that great when you get them. So uh, this is what the final turnout for you know a $100 front lip is on my WRX. So I hope you enjoy it. I'm gonna link the I'm gonna link the lip in the description box below in the comment section or whatever in the description box, right? And it should be a fun video. I do apologize, we are filming. I did film this video in my basement, which is currently being demoed, but it's just kind of like a time lapse over what I did and some voiceovers. So it's it's a, it's a semi-decent video. It should be some fun. So stick through it. Um, and then we do some beauty shots at the end. I don't wanna oversell the whole video, but you can skip through the sections if you wanna see each of those things. But I guess I'll show you a little bit about where I am. Uh, so let's let's walk onto the porch and I'll show you uh, show you a little bit what's going on. All right, so I will show you guys kind of where I am. I apologize if it's a little loud. The uh, the water makes some noise, but let's see if it'll focus. Uh, I'm in upstate New York. This is uh, Lake George. It's a it's a nice place. It's pretty chilly right now, uh, but tomorrow I'm going to be taking the boat out for a little while. I probably will go swimming. Maybe a little bit of sailing. We'll see what happens. I want it to warm up at this point. Uh, it's pretty empty up here because of COVID and the temperatures dropped greatly, but it's it's fun to be up here. I usually spend a lot of time here. I used to live up here um, during the summers, basically for my entire life. It's recently changed as I started working. Um, so I'm gonna get back inside where I have a fire. And if my camera focuses, you can see Daisy. Daisy. Hi. This is my dog, Daisy, if you guys don't know her. Uh, I've got two dogs, Daisy and Stella, uh, but this is Daisy. I don't want to take too much of your time before we watch the video, but, and this is my editing setup. We got the fire going, computer, dog. I'm gonna edit this video that we're filming right now. Uh, hi, Daisy. I'm gonna edit this film video that we're filming right now. I'm gonna go live because it's Saturday and I'll post this video tomorrow. So enjoy the video, guys. Here we have my front bumper. I've just got it on two sawhorses, but I haven't been posting a lot in the last couple months, and I wanted to show you guys why there's one of my gimbals that we'll be using tonight. But I'm standing, and I'm sorry it's a mess, but this is what I've been doing. This was a finished basement that I have completely gutted to work on a crack. We had a leak. The existing owner had fixed this. The crack is somewhere down there, and I've decided that I'm going to go through and fix all the damage that we have, replace some of the uh, lolly columns, structural support, I've cut two holes, this goes into my garage, which I'm currently ripping the ceiling out of, but we're completely demoing this space, I'm replacing, I'm sorry for the light, I'm gonna replace all the hydronic piping back to our new combi boiler, new floor, rip up all this old stuff here, and yeah, we had a lot of like wood damage, soft wood, so I'm gonna have to sister some new beams, and yeah, this is where my time's gone, so, Let's get back to working on the car. So let me walk through some of the issues with the car. Apologies, this is for the light. So front front bumper, right? There's a lot of problems with my front bumper and I'm doing a lot of things to it. I'm gonna be replacing this. This The original owner put this on. Not a fan of the gray with the color scheme of the car, right? You should be able to see it better. Not a fan of this. This will get replaced. Probably gonna do this in a little bit. So I've also bought a, some wrap and I'm gonna wrap the front bottom lip. So it's like the S207, I think. I wanted to wrap the top here, but I really like having the block off plate. So I'm gonna try just wrapping the bottom. I'm gonna paint in this video, the front lip, you can see it's horrifically sun bleached. It looks awful. This is like oil that's picked, been picked up from the road. It just look, it looks terrible. I do have, this was the damage that I bought the car with. Eventually I'm gonna fix this. I may just buy a new bumper and you can see Subi Speed. Subi speed. Both are broken. Both are cracked, right? Neither are leaking water though. So I'm not going to replace them right now. When they're on, they're so bright you couldn't even know. So I also noticed when I was doing this that there's a bit of a gap here. One of the screws have pulled through the uh, actual front bumper a little bit. So I'm going to get another tapping screw and I'm just going to tap it to seal the gap. I'm also going to do the same thing around where I had 
the damage just so we close it up and it looks a little bit cleaner. Harder to notice that. So I'm gonna start by getting some water. I'm gonna clean this off. I'm then going to do a little bit of alcohol to get any tar or a degreaser. And then I'm gonna do, you can already see it's super dirty. Then I'm gonna do some wet sanding, high grit sandpaper, and then we're gonna do a bunch of coats of uh, spray paint. So I'm gonna time lapse this a little bit, walk you through if there's any things that are uh, specific that you need to know. Other than that, I apologize for the dirty basement, but let's let's get straight into it, guys. Just get it wet. Okay, so we've done three coats here and I think it looks really good. One of the problems that I've realized is that with this paint, it picked up every imperfection because it's not that thick and I don't wanna get it super thick because then it'll bead. So you can see a little bit of a road rash, but like it looks pretty good. I mean, it's hard to tell this angle in the camera. You can see everything, but I mean, it's, let me see if I can flip around. You know, it's, it looks pretty good guys. Like it's pretty shiny. I mean, looks pretty dang good, I think. So, I put on three coats. Um, I did three coats. It's still a little bit tacky. The only thing that I have left to do is if you like, kind of look, look under here. There's the up on the side that's up here. That side uh, down here isn't painted, and I'm gonna paint that. But uh, I need to flip the bumper over to do that. So I wanna let this paint dry for like a full day. And there's still a few things I can do here. I need to remove all my tape here and all my paper. Here, I have that gap. So I need to drive a screw through to close the gap. I don't know, you can see some of the imperfections here. This was like kind of like a divot. There's some road rash, road rash. Do I put another coat on? I don't think people are gonna to look too far into it to be honest. You can see one of the big imperfections here. I basically had a crack. I've rubbed so much. So guys, this bumper cost me a year and a half ago, like a hundred bucks or something shipped. I'm gonna link it in the description below. And I've painted it now. It probably cost me, I don't know, like eight bucks for the can of paint. So I think for, for like 110 bucks, this looks damn good painted, especially guys, a year of use. Like you can see the damage here where I scraped. I actually scraped that I, I like, hit a curb kind of with it. I pulled too far into a spot. So it's covered up kind of nicely. You can see where it kind of cored. So these imperfections are the bumper itself after a year of use, really not that bad for a year of use of a plastic ABS bumper uh, or polyurethane, I'm unsure. 
I think it looks pretty good when I look under a fine tune, like if I'm looking like this under a magnifying glass, obviously it's not gonna be that great. So I'm gonna take this off. I'm, am I gonna montage it? Yeah, it's, well actually no, I'm not gonna take a video of you, me taking this off. I'm gonna get this off and then we'll f wait a day probably, flip it over and paint the undersides there and there. And then I'm gonna do a few other things, different videos and we're gonna get this back on the car and we're gonna do some beauty shots because I know that's what you guys wanna see beauty shots. So let me take this out and then I will film when I flip it over and get those. St uh, why am I telling you? You're about to see it. So let's just go for it. to have a little bit of closure. Uh, I apologize if it's a little bit windy and everything. I wanted to finish the video and kind of talk about my experience painting the front bumper because there are things that I would have changed in retrospect and I apologize. I, I'm a little less prepared for this than I wanted to be. I just finished playing soccer and now I'm filming but that's kind of irregardless of the point. There are a few things that I would have changed if I had done this again and I think the key thing here is not not the prep. I think I did the prep okay but I recommend that if you're doing this at home, put less paint on and more coats. And I think that what ended up happening is the angle which I was painting it, there are some areas where the surface height of the paint is a little bit higher than others. And you know, you can't really tell unless you're inspecting it. So I guess I'm being like hyper aware of what's happening. But it is something to mention because if you guys are perfectionists like I am, it is something that might bother you on a regular basis. So. Uh, I did want to just make, you know, make that mention. If I were to change something in what I've done, I would be, I'd do like eight or 10 coats. Yes, that many, because you want to have a thick, thick barrier on there. You can always paint it again if stuff starts to chip, but I do a lot of highway driving, so I wanted a thick paint on there. Um, but that's what I would change if I were to be able to go back. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun making it. It's made such a difference on my car. I wish I had painted it earlier on. I just never got to it because it was, I bought it in the winter. I didn't want to do it in the winter. I went through the first summer, I got lazy because I was doing other things, and it's, you know, it's been like a year and a half, and I finally painted it. But that, combined with the front wrap of the front bumper, oh my goodness, it changes the car so much. I'm so happy that I did it. Uh, I think, to date, those are two of the mods that I actually like the most. Like, doing the headlights was a big deal, um, but doing those, you know, the headlights, wrapping the lower part of the lip, uh, the, wrapping the lower part of the bumper, and painting the front lip so you have a really nice, core front lip I think really changes these cars really makes them unique makes them very aggressive and you can really you know realistically you can do everything that I did on the front of my car for under 200 eh, 250 dollars probably that includes all the parts um, for doing the uh, headlight rebuilds probably 250 bucks so you know Matt that you're looking at if you want to re re recreate that to do the headlights and I'll post some information on a video because I didn't do a full video but I videotaped some of it. You'll need some matte black paint, the diodynamic sea lights, a switchback harness. Uh, that's pretty much it. I did LED bulbs, you don't have to. I blacked out a bunch of stuff. Uh, and then you'll need some resealant um, or you can reuse the stock sealer. Uh, and then the wrap was pretty cheap, you know, like 20 bucks of wrap. And then the spray paint for the lip. And you can get an Icon Motorsports lip for pretty cheap. I'll link the lip in the description below. There are a lot of great lips out there. I mean. It's not perfect, but for under a hundred bucks or like around a hundred bucks, it's not a bad option. So definitely check that out. I'll link everything in the description below. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, we're gonna keep going on modding. The car's really dirty, so I need to clean it. Um, but I've got, you know, four other things that I'm installing this week. So lots to come, should be fun. Uh, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.